Hello viewers, here's three of my screw thread classic Azahi Pentax cameras. I, did, I had more over the years, but these are the only three I've got left. The first one I want to show you is the 1960s SV. So we just move some of these out of the way and we'll show you some features of the SV. It's a fully manual camera. There's no automatic things in it at all. And that's the beauty of it. You can ch choose it to do exactly what you want to do. The lens is a 55 millimeter Super Takuma lens. And it's coated, but not what is known as multi-coated. That came later. It has FP and X flash synchronizing sockets. You use FP for flash bulbs, which you don't use now, of course, much. And X is where you plug in the electronic flash. On the top, we have a winding knob for the shutter and a frame counter, which counts up automatically when you load a film. You have the dial for changing your shutter speed from one second to a thousandth with brief time and time exposures. When you wind it on, there's a little red signal here which tells you that the shutter is wound on. When you take a picture, it goes black. So that's a reminder. Now on the other side, we have the delayed action of the SV which is the only pen tax with this type of delay in action. You, turn, you wind it up and you turn it like that and the shutter goes off. This is an accessory shoe which you can slip in a manual exposure meter if you want, but it's not electronic, so you, you don't put any flashes in there. The lens unscrews and we find inside the um, 42 millimeter th screw thread of the lens. Open the back here, shutter's firing, put it onto brief time, shutter's open, shutter's closed. That's the action of the shutter. The film loading is quite straightforward. Push up the knob, push in the film cassette, push down the knobs, pull out a little bit of film, stick it into one of the little slots here, make certain it goes into a little peg, continue winding, watch it now it slips out now, because I've used this demonstration film so many times it's a bit damaged, oops, I can usually do it straight away, there we are, Make certain with your fingers it's going on to the sprockets, otherwise you'll be in deep trouble. Then you can close the camera back and fire it off once. Now you'll find with all these cameras it hasn't gone to naught. You don't want to wind it on too many times, then you can get extra frames. So start firing before it actually reaches naught. Well, you have a, must watch the rewind knob going around to make certain it's going through. Now that's the SV, and I've got a few pictures taken with the SV and various lenses I can show you quickly. There's some bikes here taken at South End on Sea. This was on my 24mm lens. I've got various lenses, but I can't show you everything in the time. Here's a biker. Now, I've done a 16 by 12 print of him and one on the wall at my camera club. I was on F these are on FP4 Plus film. There's some girls eating fish and chips. Now, they were, that was done with a 150 millimeter super multi coated Pentax lens that I got free with my one of my later cameras. Now the next camera I can show you is the Spotmatic 1, which is here. Now this has a huge lens on it, just to show you. 
This is the 35mm F2 Super Takuma lens. Now I got that from an old gent with the SV actually and it's very very sharp for F2 but it's, it's just large that's all. With a Spotmatic the delayed action is on the lever here and you wind it by pulling it down and you press the knob there to fire the shutter. There it goes after a few seconds the shutter should fire. Yes, it has also the FP and X flash synchronizing, but this time there's a there's a switch here. You wind on the shutter and you press up the switch, and that closes down the lens to the taking aperture that you want to use, because this has got a through the lens meter system, which works with stop down metering. And when you take a photograph, the switch moves back to its old position to turn itself off. There's a switch there. It's got the same reminder here for shutter set, little dot, same shutter speed dial with flash synchronization maximum, 1 60th of a second. You pull up the rewind knob here. Film loading is the same. But this time there's a battery because this has exposure meter. Now the battery is the illegal mercury type battery which is not easy to get hold of nowadays and I've still got my one if I can show you quickly and I'm going to get it undone. There, the little blue battery which is the illegal mercury type and um, they're very difficult to get. So if you can't get one, you can, your camera will still work. You just have to use it with a separate exposure meter. But this is a Spotmatic 1. Again, you've got a removable attachment here, which is not electronic. There's nothing electronic in the hot shoe there. Unlike this one, which, which was my latest edition, that's the Spotmatic F. Now an old gentleman gave me this. And this has got super multi-coated lenses and it got ele more electronics in it. This time the switch doesn't operate the exposure because when you take the lens cap off the metering is on all the time. If you have a lens which is not super multi-coated SMC then you have to push up the switch and use it in a stop down metering mode. The lens is, is full aperture metering. It doesn't stop down to the taking aperture when you want to do the metering. It's fully open all the time. When you take the picture, say you've set it to 5.6, the lens will stop down and take a picture at 5.6. The Spotmatic also has a handy little lock here to prevent you from taking pictures when you've got it in your bag. If it touches something like that, it could take a picture. And this time you've got a hot shoe with electronic current going through for flash. You can put a flash in there or you can fit a flash into these two sockets here, the FP and the X synchronizing socket here. I've got a little plug in there so I don't plug anything in because it's for flash bulbs. The same synchronizing is 1 60th of a second maximum synchronizing speed. But the main that's the main thing with the Spotmatic F. It has a more electronics on it. And at the back of the re rear of the lens, you can see a little electric little pin there, which tells the camera to use full aperture metering. And this is the famous 1.4 radioactive lens that came with the camera. And it's a bit yellow, but it still works. I also got with it some other lenses. 
this is one taken with the 35 millimeter I know 28 millimeter f3.5 on a cable car in London with an orange filter this one is with the famous radioactive 50 millimeter lens in London taken from a moving boat there is one taken with my 105 millimeter super multi coated Tukuma which is that lens there which I've had for many years I think I've got that 1973 I've got that lens I used the orange filter for that and um, that gave some very good results now this one is with a 150 millimeter f4 super multi coated Takuma lens that's some with the Spotmatic F I forgot to show you some with the Spotmatic 1 so here we are there's a few here with the Spotmatic 1 taken in America with the 24mm lens this is with the 105mm lens this is again with a 24mm lens and I won a digital camera with that this is a portrait of a young lady with my 105mm lens with flash and here's an action picture again taken with the 105mm lens well there's a few of my screw thread spotmatics and my SV I hope you've enjoyed this very quick demonstration of these classic Pentax cameras thank you for watching